consumers like it because it seems safer than using your credit card uh, or entering your credit card on your phone. Uh, a lot of malware now can actually capture your keystrokes on your phone, but, but they can't capture your fingerprint. So uh, I think it's safer. I think it's a good development. Now that the phone manufacturers see that Apple's uh, found something that works and ex is accepted by merchants, accepted by banks, uh, you're going to see Google and other phone guys copy Apple and try to catch up with them. How expensive is the technology? It's not that expensive, uh, what, what, uh, but you have to have uh, some sort of token or some sort of uh, security device in the cloud uh, really to make it work with credit cards. Uh, so I think that it's safer for the consumer. It doesn't cost, uh, you know, it costs a few basis points. Visa right now isn't charging anything for that technology in the U.S. with Apple Pay. But maybe it's five basis points. It's not very much at all. Airbnb and Uber are the two uh, big ones that are on the horizon. Uh, whether they come this year, whether they come next year, I think depends on uh, valuations in the public market. Right now, the private market valuations are higher than the public market valuations, and so they have to kind of wait for the public market to recover some more. Yeah, quite. I mean, why, why would businesses like these want to IPO at this stage in their, their development? Well, they want liquidity eventually for their shareholders. Uh, who are their employees. So uh, I think that that's the reason they want to IPO. And also it gives them publicity. When you have a successful IPO, then your customers hear about you and they feel like uh, you have a seal of approval.